Good morning. Uh, today I was thinking that uh, this would be a good project for both uh, watchmaker beginners and uh, clockmakers too. If you're a do-it-yourself clockmaker at home and you you know you're building a small business, uh, being able to put watch batteries in and uh, crystals in, in watches is a lucrative little business and I think pretty much most any any clockmaker could uh, pick up this uh, as a side trade and uh, morning today hey, I thought good. I'd uh, venture into a new little series uh, this is a uh, customer's watch and uh, the movement here is a relic it's not a real high-end watch it although it really looks high-end this is uh, automatic and uh, I had to remove the uh, watch from the case in order to fix the, the crystal. He uh, shattered the crystal on this, and I needed to get the glass out of there, out of the, out of the back of this. And there was a little bit in the, the front of it. Plus, he knocked off a couple of the markers on the dial. There, see if I can... These are the, the markers right here. This is a 12, a 1, and then there's... Uh, three o'clock marker and uh, I think a two o'clock marker that's that's uh, fell out and these will have to be glued back in uh, it's not hard to do you just have to be really careful so you don't get any glue on the dial uh, the crystals on these uh, are just mineral glass and they make them in uh, all different sizes and round uh, they are one millimeters, one and a half millimeters, two, and uh, I think three millimeter thick glass. So you have to make sure you know the distance from here to, to the in your bezel here, what size glass. You can easily do that with with a uh, a broken glass. You can just just take the the glass and uh, measure the very edge. This would be about a 1.2, so it's about 1.5 thickness. And uh, this particular one is a, a one millimeter thick uh, round mineral glass. So the first thing you do is you normally, uh, it, if, if it's not shattered too bad, all you have to do is uh, you can generally lift the broken glass upside down like this, and you can move out all all the the glass, keeping you from uh, getting glass inside the the movement. If you see a lot of glass in there then you're going to have to probably take the movement out that's not hard to do either uh, the next thing you want to do is make sure that your seal gasket is in in place which on this one it is and you always want to work from the stem across that'll give you your best reference for for your uh, size of a, a, a mineral glass you'll need this one here is 35.6 so I'm going to put a 35.7 uh, millimeter glass in here, which will be just about the right uh, compression, and uh, we'll make the the seal on the gasket. Uh, sometimes you need a little little wider than that, but this one I'm, I've already checked it, so I know about what it is. Now these these uh, crystals glass, this mineral glass, comes in like like I said, a, a full set of assortments. This is a 35.7, and uh, what you want to do is be sure that you don't put your fingerprints on the inside of the glass. So take it out with a pair of tweezers, and you'll need a pair of tweezers. And uh, you just lay the glass right in here like that. Now it's just laying right on top of this. Then you'll need a small crystal press, which is what I have right here. Okay, and you'll insert the the crystal into the watch just by pressing down on the uh, the uh, handle. Your uh, crystal is now set, and you'll inspect. Be sure that it's 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 uh, flat across the top and it's sealed. So this particular crystal is now set. 
So all that remains to be done is I glue a couple of these little markers on the dial and uh, put it back together, seal it, and that's $55. Uh, I charge, uh, if I don't have to do any extras, just a crystal, I, I charge 48 But it's a quick, uh, quick and easy deal. Easy peasy, I, I call that. And uh, batteries, I charge fourteen fifty. And I'll show you how to put in batteries too. The, there's nothing to any of this really. Well, you, you got to use some, uh, develop some skills and be a little careful. You don't want to bump your uh, movement anywhere. These, you know, they're delicate. They don't, they won't take any bumping. So, but the. Uh, Putting a, a crystal in a in a watch for uh, for your friends, and I would definitely start with friends, and I would start with low end watches. Don't do uh, Rolexes or Breitlings. Uh, stay away from those because you're going to get in trouble with that, and I don't want anybody to get in, in trouble unless you really know what you're doing. Uh, uh, Tag Hauer, uh, some of those are fairly easy to do. Citizens are easy to put in. Uh, so is uh, Seiko. Uh, Croton, uh, most of those are all, you know, the $35, $40, 50 watches, but your customers will pay, and uh, it's well worth the time to do. Uh, take a look at what I just did, and then consider uh, taking that on as a, an additional trade with your watchmaking, or if you're in the jewelry business, this is a, a nice little uh, uh, sideline business that you can pick up. So with that, I'll go ahead and put this back together, and I'll get back with you later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your day.